Let's bring in uh, Elvis Doomerville, now with the Ravens, linebacker, defensive end, joining us on the program, joining us from Miami. Are you a Miami Heat fan, Elvis? Yes, I am. How many games have you gone to? I've been to one. One? Yeah, just one. <laughs> if I was going to compare LeBron to anybody in the NFL, his build, who would he remind you of? Damn. Um... Wow. Um, How about Julius Calvin, Peppers? Yeah, probably him with Calvin Johnson or Brandon Marshall. But you guys are always protective. Whenever the topic comes up about NBA players as big as they are, could they play in the NFL? You guys always talk about leverage. You know, if you went against Shaq, that you talk about leverage. Do you, <laughs> right? Yeah, you can't bend down too much. Yeah. But how would Shaq or LeBron or any of these guys, if they tried to make that transition? Man, that'd be tough, man. I think um, LeBron maybe can play receiver, though. I think he'd be a hell of a receiver. Uh, Shaq, probably be a good defensive tackle, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got Haloti Nada. Could you imagine Shaq, who's probably twice the size of Haloti Nada? Yeah, I mean, he just blocked field goals all day. He'd probably be on the field goal block and just block every field goal kick. All right, let me clean up the mess here with the facts. Just, just help me here. If the facts is sent in 10 minutes earlier... You're with the Broncos, and we're not having this discussion, right? Yeah, then I wouldn't be a Raven, man. You know, that, that, don't, that wouldn't sound too good right now. But you're happy to be a Raven. Were you going to be unhappy to be a Bronco? You know, it's business, man. You know, a lot of teams, you know, players move around, man, and, and that's just the way it is. You know, that's the way the game is before I got here. And I'm sure when I'm done playing football, it'll be the same. Well, I don't – look, I, I'm not judging you because you took the Ravens job. I just wanted to know if you really wanted to go back to the Broncos. The feeling I got no, is no. that you didn't. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thinking you're judging me. We're just having this conversation. It's cool. Okay, but did you really want to go back to Denver or the Ravens' offer was too good to pass up? Therefore, you decided that you'd rather go to the Ravens than stay in Denver. No, you know, like I said before, um, Denver was a first-class organization. Unfortunate things happened with the facts. And at that point, I was released. And I was a free agent. So um, the opportunity came with the defending champs and such a first-class organization as well. So, uh, you know, the opportunity was a great opportunity, so I took it. How many offers did you get after everybody realized you were now free? I mean, several teams was interested, you know. Um, at the end of the day, uh, I, I really wanted to go to a team um, – you know, obviously, was a Super Bowl contender, and I thought Baltimore was a uh, obviously a Super Bowl contender. Better chance to win the Super Bowl this year, Denver or Baltimore? Well, we both got a lot of a lot of work to do. Um, you know, things on paper, a lot of talk. You know, that's that's irrelevant. I think um, we, you know with the, with the work you put into it and the, the amount of guys who come as one and, and try to do it. I think that's that's you know the better chance you have. You didn't get to hit Peyton Manning in practice. You may get to hit him on opening night. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's every quarterback. You know, every time you, you put that game jersey on, you know, whoever's their opponent, you know, you got to try to get after him. Are you even allowed to get close to Manning during practice? Nah, I mean, it's, you know, well, <laughs> I've never been around, um, you know, the organization. You know, I've been in Baltimore, I mean, uh, Denver on my uh, career, but – Quarterbacks is, you know, you can't hit quarterbacks. <laughs> that's your first, that's an easy way uh, to get off the team. <laughs> what is your official position, defensive end or linebacker? Honestly, we haven't uh, really talked about that, you know. Um, I'm, you know, I'm just focused right now to, you know, get myself in the best shape as possible. Um, and so when opportunity comes, whatever I need to do to help the team, um, you know, that's what I'll be doing. He's Elvis Doomerville, the Ravens, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. What's your middle name? Oh, cool. Spell it. K O L. Wait, where did that? So you're cool. So you can say cool. I'm cool, <laughs> and, and and it's legitimate. Uh, yeah, I guess my parents thought I was cool, baby. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you ever ask your parents why'd you name me cool? Man, I, I was asking, you know, Elvis, cool, and you know, just you know, it's it's a lot going on, you know. So uh, it's a lot of pressure growing up as a kid, you know. So. But named um, Elvis, did you get? Did people tease you? Did they think it was a, the old Elvis Presley? Yeah, I got that a lot throughout elementary and middle school. And I, so until I started playing sports, and I started becoming the cool kid with the Elvis name. <laughs> um, but early on, it was tough, you know. You know, everybody wanted to dance in front of me with the guitar and um, you know the Elvis <laughs> Presley jokes. So you know. <laughs> 
Why didn't you go with cool Doomerville? I mean, because, you know, when you go to class and uh, first day of school, it was always the most interesting day of, uh, <laughs> of the year for me, you know. <laughs> yeah, but as big as you are, nobody's going to say anything to you. <laughs> man, it was, uh, man, you know, even the little guys, uh, they, they still want to <laughs> say names, you know. <laughs> I may have to call you cool, Do- uh, cool Doomerville when I do the highlights this year. <laughs> I like that. Hey, uh, congrats on uh, heading to Baltimore. Looks like uh, that opening night, since you guys have to go out of town due to the Orioles, you might be in Denver the opening night of the season. Wow, that's, uh, we'll see what happens, man. That'd be, uh, that'd be fun. What kind of reception do you think, if, if you do go back, you're in Denver, what do you, uh, how do you think Bronco fans react? Uh, you know, I'm sure be some would be happy, some would be not, and you know, maybe some claps, applause, maybe some boos. So uh, we'll see. Elvis Cool Doomerville, good to visit with you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. All right, it. there you go.